Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all, not some, all that is written therein. Then it says, thou shalt make your way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. I believe it. The Bible tells me that he spake a parable, Luke 18 and verse 1, to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Seeing that I am a man, I must pray. Prayer now does not just become a spiritual routine. It is a matter of life and death to me. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 says to pray without season. Is that true? James 5 and verse 13 gives me the biblical recommendation for affliction. Is any man afflicted? He says, let him pray. So every time I see an affliction around my vicinity, whether I understand it or not, the biblical recommendation is to pray. And he says, Elijah was a man of like passion as we are, but he prayed earnestly. So prayer can open and unlock the heavens. The Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. So if I withhold, I should not be surprised when I am poor. The Bible says a diligent hand shall be made fat. Is that true? And that he that waters shall be himself watered. Let's return back to scripture. If you surround your life with anything aside from scripture, you cannot manifest Bible faith. The Bible tells me in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, it says to be anxious for nothing. So I know immediately that anxiety is not of God. Be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, it says to let my request be made known. And then it says, the God of peace shall garrison, protect my heart. And then verse 8, it says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, pure, noble, honest, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So I know that my mindset has a lot to do with my destiny. I will not train my spirit and ignore my mindset. Jeremiah chapter 1, please sit down. I hope I'm not wasting your time. Jeremiah chapter 1, he came to him and said, right from when you were in your mother's womb before thou camest forth out of the womb i called you and ordained you is that true to be a prophet to the nations and jeremiah cried and said ah for i am a child and he said say not that i am a child but wherever i send you to thou shalt go and to whoever i send you say whatever i ask you to say and then then he says what seest thou that means now that I've given you a prophetic word, I need to work on your perception. What do you see from what I have said? The performance is not based on what I have said. The performance is your perception of what I have said. He said, I see the rod of an almond tree. Then he says, you have seen correctly. Verse 12, 1 verse 12 of Jeremiah says, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Amplified says, for I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. Faith is not an issue of bold face. It is the richness of the word that dwells within you. Is that true? I understand that territorial revival does not just depend on God and the spirit of revival but also willing men who can pray that I sought for a man to stand in the gap that I may not destroy it so I don't sit down and fold my arms and say God come uh -uh. it is the spirit and the bride together that tells the world to come that means if the spirit alone is saying Takoradi be revived Takoradi will not be revived the bride who is the vessel must also agree with the spirit 
If the spirit says be healed, the bride must say be healed for healing to come. If the spirit says be lifted, the bride must say be lifted. John said, I am the voice. I am not the word, but I'm the one who gives echo. The voice. Hear me please, brothers and sisters. Let us return back. Men of God, more than just sitting to listen to messages of one another and preaching, which is profitable. Let us go back and open this scripture with childlike faith and begin a genuine spiritual adventure so we do not make a mess of ourselves and our territories. I found your word and I did eat it, it says, and it was a joy and a rejoicing to me. Hallelujah. Lack of the balance and the structure of scripture in the life of a believer is what delves us into all kinds of error and imbalance. The Bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and even the doctrine of demons. But it says that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise to salvation. Acts chapter 20, I believe is verse 32. It says, and now brethren, I commend you unto God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance even among them that are sanctified. Psalms 82 from verse 5 to 7. They know not, he says, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6 says, I have said, ye are God and all of you, how many? All of you are children of the Most High. He says, but you shall fall like mere men and you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So my confession determines when I find what God has said, I will say it. I am blessed. I am healed in the name of Jesus. Bible faith starts with your respect and your honor to scripture. Let me, let me tell you this. Any aspect of your life that is not yet working, I give you an assignment tonight. Go on a faith scripture adventure find relevant scriptures that talk about you are not the first to go through what you are going through the bible says the thing that was is the thing that is you are not the first to want growth you are not the first to want increase you are not the first to suffer barrenness man of god you are not the first to look for a land for a church building the things that are written are for time Apostle, you don't know what is happening in Ghana and Africa. The economy seems to be shaking up and down. You are not the first. An idol worshiper in awe of the Chaldeans called Abraham was called out from that background of idolatry and was made a global representation of the blessing of the Lord. Isaiah 51 from verse 2. Look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bare thee. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Understood his life. It says if you are the children of Abraham, you will do the works of Abraham not the talks of Abraham be restored to scripture man of God without the Bible we are only wasting the time of God's people more than stories more than examples more than prophecies and miracles let them come under the Word of God the degree to which we exalt and promote the integrity of scripture is the degree to which we can predictably be a blessing to people. Is that true? For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. If I ask you now to lift your Bible, let me pray on it. You may not really enjoy what I'm saying. You say, what is that? But if I say, lift your document. Now, I'm not being sarcastic. Or lift something. Very quickly, you will lift it. And drop that Bible there. Does it look to you like the story that was in 2 Kings chapter 4? There was a woman who left her greatest blessing in the womb and was crying she was in debt and what could save her was right there and when she was complaining to the prophet the oil was hearing i'm sure if the, if the oil had the opportunity to speak you say don't disrespect me i am not small 
it is a limitation of your understanding the same way your bible keeps looking at you in the room while you are going through all kinds of things and satan continues to hope that it will remain closed can i tell you the bible says i wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scrolls there and then the elder tapped me and said weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david has prevailed that he is worthy to open the book weeping always continues until the book is opened for as long as you do not have the courage and the determination to open the book hallelujah every time god is sending me to egypt i have a right to ask him who will stand who will i tell pharaoh has sent me and god never sends people alone based on scripture he will always send you with a rod a rod determines what happens to the red sea not just god so because i have that understanding when god sends me as a man of god i don't just get up and start running what is the rod you have put in my hand say after me in the name of jesus inside and outside shout it say in the name of jesus i obtain grace to return back to that which is written say in the name of jesus more than miracles more than prophecies more than signs and wonders i declare restoration of my passion for scripture john chapter 1 and verse 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so scripture starts with faith bible faith starts with the revelation of scripture you have that point down the next point is meditation this is something most believers do not understand meditation joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 it says this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein meditate therein meditate therein meditate therein to meditate means to ponder deeply onto the spirit of that story the spirit of that parable the spirit of the letter enters you the purpose of, mod of meditation is for you to access the spirit component because in james chapter 2 and verse 26 james was speaking and he said for us faith with this a body without a spirit is dead that means if you are just reading the letter you are just reading something that was printed by zondervan or white taker house it will not do you much it is meditation that draws out the spirit behind the story otherwise you will just read a parable read something do you know if you read the bible just intellectually alone you will end up finding a book that has a lot of confusing statements conflicting statements and at the end you will just drop it meditation is where you allow the breath of the spirit to rest upon you someone say meditation i'm showing you the formula that translates to genuine bible faith before we pray meditation is very powerful in psalms 119 verse 97 psalms 119 verse 97 psalms 109 from verse 97 it says oh how i love thy law it is my meditation how long do you know you can read a scripture and because you are meditating on it so much you can be taking a shower when the light comes and god just brings that rhema word even through the things you have studied meditation is powerful even non-believers understand this is that true people have tapped into superhuman abilities through the art of meditation to meditate means to ponder deeply and to contemplate until the spirit of that truth is released into you number three the third faith equation is prayer hmm. most people do not know that prayer is part of the dynamics of producing bible faith mark chapter 11 and verse 24 jesus rebuked a tree and it withered and the disciples came wondering wow you did this and it happened 
and jesus made a very interesting statement in 11 and 24 of mark he says therefore i say unto you are we still together what things soever ye desire now you can fill in the blank what things soever ye desire he says when ye pray is that in your bible believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it that means if prayer is not captured in your faith equation you are not working with bible faith prayer prayer isaiah 41 and verse 21 very powerful and popular scripture 41 21 isaiah it says produce your cause saith the lord bring forth your strong reasons don't assume i know what you need when he met the man blind Bartimeo, on his way to jericho he said what would i do for you that sounded like a sarcastic statement you see a blind man who is calling upon you and you are asking him what he wants god gave man a will and it is unscriptural unscriptural for god to usurp the will of man so he says that um, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says let your request be made known don't assume he knows it prayer prayer is very very powerful the next is call your confession of faith very simple but powerful faith dynamic there is a place of speaking in manifesting bible faith two scriptures psalms 107 and verse 2 psalms 107 and verse 2 psalms 107 it says let the redeemed of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord let the lifted in takoradi say so let the anointed of the lord let the prosperous of the lord more than think so you must say so comes from the word homologio that means repeat as you have heard i prophesied as i was commanded i was already commanded but did you notice in ezekiel 37 that the bones did not move at the confession of the spirit it was when the human vessel spoke that there was a sound he already told him what to say but the bones did not do anything but when he prophesied as he was commanded so when god says you are blessed nothing happens until you agree with him and say it's true i am blessed lifted above situations and circumstances someone while you are sitting declare in one minute i am blessed everything you know declare it upon yourself by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare that my path is as a shining light i shine brighter and brighter in the name of jesus christ ministry is flourishing the bible says they that be planted in the house of the lord that they shall flourish in the courts of our god even in old age they shall be fat and flourishing hallelujah let me give just two left for sake of time the next point is very important that is what really seals the faith equation is called your action of obedience notice the progression i'm giving you revelation of scripture then meditation then prayer are we together then confession of that which is spoken and then action of obedience this is powerful write for reference luke chapter 17 from 11 to 14 i may not read it but just write for reference luke 17 11 to 14 this was the story of the 10 lepers remember the bible says jesus was passing is that true and he saw 10 lepers and then when he saw the lepers they beckoned on him to help and heal them and he told them to stand up and go and show themselves to the priest how many of you know that was a risk especially in ancient time as they went they noticed that they were cleansed of their leprosy is that true action of obedience he told them stand up and go in john chapter 2 the wedding in cana the first 11 verses when you read the bible says there was a wedding in cana and the wine finished when the wine finished an embarrassment was imminent and then a few people spotted jesus in the crowd and they came and met the mother to lobby for them finally they got to see him 
and Jesus said what would you have me do for you and they said look wine is finished and he said fill six pots with water and when they did he said you fetch it and start going do you know that it's like coming to serve your man of God that you so love and honor and then carrying kerosene and believing it will turn to water say for instance you will not only be disciplined you may go to jail is that true now he told them fetch the water imagine them going shaking but obeying ah. and then water he turned into wine he opened the eyes of the blind there's no one turn water to wine he can turn poverty to prosperity it's the same miracle if he turn water to wine he can turn an F student to an A student if he turn water to wine he can turn an irresponsible man to become such an admirable father please sit down to turn a thing according to chemistry is to alter the chemical configuration so that it becomes something else sometimes irreversible mm. that means God can look deep through a man and find out what do I need to change to make Saul become Paul the word of God is that quick and powerful it's able to penetrate even to the Is someone listening so if I come and I'm limping and I cannot walk well if God turned the water to wine are we together yes there are many people who have turned things to several things you have turned cocoa in Ghana to many things is that true and if we have the privilege of going to the factory we are going to see chemists and all kinds of people they know what to add sometimes they subject it under pressure sometimes they add a lot of other reagents to react something changes so don't be surprised if the version of you that came is not the version that leaves don't be surprised if the unanointed you that came is no longer the one who goes if they ask you and say how did it happen sing this song for them that our god is able to turn water to wine Poverty to prosperity, shame, even to glory. Like Pastor Nat said, you need to look at our lives too. Look at my own life. If you do not believe God can change people, or if you've thrown your Bible, let me be the continuation of the scripture you were reading. That God is able to lift a man. He is the lifter of men. I will hold on to your word and I will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal that you are the lifter of men the lifter of men I will hold on to the storms and I will hold on to your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men the lifter of men he's a lifter of men lifter of men you're the lifter of men lifter of men you're the lifter of men hold on through the storm that's my word for you will you hold on to his word for your story is about to change by the lifter of men I'm not singing I'm prophesying to you please hold on to the storm I know you have cried and cried just hold on to his word your life will soon reveal he's a lifter of men lifter of men that 
that by this time next year by the time you come for this conference someone will stand here and say i was outside 2022 i was outside look what the lifter of men has done to my ministry look what the lifter of look what the lifter of men has done to my family he took me from ghana and shot me like an arrow to the ends of the earth let me sing it one more time even if this is where we close don't sing just listen the Lord is speaking to you will you hold on through the storms will you hold on to my word barren but hold his word nobody is placing a demand on your grace man of God but hold his word don't go around faking things and say ministry must work. Uh -uh. I will hold on to your word. Yes, I will hold on to your word. My story is about to change by the lifter of men. Lifter of men. One more time. I will hold on through the storm and I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men. Lifter of men. Please listen to me. We're wrapping up. Hear me. Every giant of faith you see had to find out Lord what would you demand me to do obedience is useless until there is first an instruction are we together I will send him to your medical team because this is madness but if I say come now it is obedience just taking action is not obedience you must take action in the direction of what is demanded is someone following now many of you have been taking action you can take action in the wrong direction while we we're coming yesterday Bishop was just showing me some of the routes that connect to Takoradi coming here and I said wow amazing how the roads you know showed me the beautiful hospital your regional hospital and he was showing me these things because you can fire on four, all four cylinders in the wrong direction it is action but in disobedience so for instance for someone here if God tells you that the key to a rich spiritual life is to get back to the ministry of prayer if you keep saying I'm going I'm going and you don't do it you have not taken action but if after this conference you go back and dust your prayer closet and say Lord I'm here with you again now this is an action of obedience you begin to pray one week becoming one month one month becoming a quarter of a year and then one night you will encounter his majesty and he will deposit something upon your life that the entire globe will come to terms with it is true pastor Nat sang a beautiful song one of his songs says i am waiting such a powerful song to wait upon the lord means to wait it doesn't just mean to fast it means to sit down It was waiting that qualified Mary to be the first evangelist who saw the resurrected Christ all the disciples came and they were in a hurry they went and they did not see but a woman stayed and said I'm not going she kept looking and as she kept looking she saw a man and she said Rabboni there is power in waiting when you wait you will see things that those who are in a hurry do not see 
for someone this may be a message for you you are too in a hurry god gives speed but he does not rush people you are in a rush to announce yourself i am a prophet you are in a rush i am an apostle you are in a rush i must build the church for someone you came for this meeting tonight for this one word wait the secret to speed in the kingdom is in that one word wait we run in this kingdom when we wait the key to speed i repeat is waiting jesus waited when the disciples went six hours ahead of him and when he got up from that waiting he started walking on water and caught up with them for someone if you can wait from now to the next two months you will run faster than you've run 10 years but if you keep going around with invitation cards please invite me do this do this you may end up embarrassing yourself let's stop here there are two more but i want to pray for you maybe i should just point the two more the next is thanksgiving the second to the last faith equation is thanksgiving be anxious for not in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving please sit thanksgiving 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 is an act of faith you tell him thank you even in advance i give you thanks i give you thanks colossians chapter 3 and verse 5 it ends up that state 3 and verse 15 colossians 3 15 it says and be ye thankful the last sentence and be ye thankful that the peace of god garrison your heart to the which ye are called in one body and be ye thankful someone say thank you jesus one more time say thank you jesus this is the biblical cure for complaining biblical cure for not seeing the faithfulness of god thank you jesus thank you thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit help your work on earth is done you get up in the morning and say thank you jesus and the devil will say for what from january till now all that as you have court cases you are not able to get a job your wife cannot even take in and you say thank you jesus ah. thank you jesus thank you jesus someone say it and then the last that i will give you tonight is patience the final key that connects you hebrews chapter 10 and verse 36 the bible says ye have need of patience is a need patience is a need for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of god ye might receive so after you have done the will of God, there are times you have done all this and it still does not look like it is coming. The Bible tells you after you have done the will of God, practice patience. Patience. What are you doing? Lord, I'm waiting upon you. As a child looks up to his mother and father, I am still waiting. But it is two years. I thought you said God told you that you are going to be such a great man of God. I have done everything and continue to do what it makes for greatness. Can I tell you, there is something in every man's life called the season of appearing. The Bible says John remained in the wilderness. There are times that all is in place. It is just not yet your season. Do you believe what I'm telling you? It is not your season. And you will find out that you've done everything. Question, what was left that Jesus did not do? Was it study of the word? Was it prayer? But he needed to get to age 30. Are we together? And when he got there, something miraculous happened to him. And he just turned his life, turned around. And they began to announce his good deeds everywhere. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. This is a night that I pray you do not forget. 
more than the manifestation i want you to remember the things we spoke about the integrity of god and his ability and for someone here as we pray you have done everything you know to do and everything you did was right the last thing you need to do is patience can we pray please stand on your feet glad we already did the altar call I want you to pray just two prayer points for tonight prayer point number one father grant me the grace to walk by faith and to command fearful dimensions of exploits even in these end times lift your voice and pray grant me the grace to walk by faith someone is prophesying the grace to walk by faith and to command fearful dimensions of exploits you want a performance in your life it has to be at the instance of faith outside pray online pray within the auditorium pray grant me the grace to walk by faith Grant me the grace to walk by faith. Nothing wavering. Believe in God like faithful Abraham did. Knowing that he is able to bring to pass that which is spoken concerning me hallelujah the last prayer point father i receive grace to obey you completely complete obedience lift your voice and pray the grace for complete obedience that which you demand of me and from me i obtain grace to live by it In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I have about five or so minutes from what I see I want you to lay your hands you're trusting God for a miracle because of time we may not have the time to take testimonies but I want to pray for you in other sessions or even in the church here you can come and testify but there are just two things I want to do and then we are done for tonight I want to pray and speak over the sick and then there is a reason why I brought this once I pray for the sick I'm going to plead in one minute for your man of God and his wife we are going to hold this as a prophetic point of contact and just speak in one minute over Takoradi and over Ghana we will declare that the two lift gates of this territory be open to the glory and the name of the Lord lay your hands now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare for everyone here who is sick everyone plagued with any kind of infirmity in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and I declare be healed now blood conditions be healed now all kinds of demonic oppressions that are health related i proclaim your liberty now in the name of jesus christ i prophesy over your life that in the name of jesus christ everything that ails you every illness every weakness in your body you will leave this place completely healed right now those who are inside those who are outside following online I declare your healing right now in Jesus name I pray amen and amen please may I request that we all stretch our hands here man of God can I please request you and your dear wife pastor Nat, please can I plead for one minute just to blow the shofar prophetically over the gates I'm standing in agreement and we're holding this prophetically 
and we want to pray for Takoradi that this place will remain a place of revival. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to plead with my dear brother, Pastor Nat. He's going to blow the trumpet just once. The trumpet is a mystery. It announces new seasons. Yeah. Hallelujah. Even the coming of Christ, it is the trump of the archangel that will announce it. Are we together? As you hear the sound of the trumpet, I'd like you to begin to prophesy over Takoradi and over Ghana. We will never lack men and women of God. We will never lack apostles and prophets. In the name of Jesus, falsehood will never eat up the church. We declare that fresh people, generals are rising. Go ahead. Go ahead. Someone is praying. Shabrendeke baraka toska libra diata Embratiska dibata katosiata Karuseke de bereke toshiata We pray over Takorani We pray over Ghana In the name of Jesus Maranatha Let revival come In the name of Jesus Let breakthrough come Let prosperity come We declare the opening of the gates In the name of Jesus Christ and from Ghana, let the fire of revival spread across Africa, spread across Europe, spread across the US, spread across Asia. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, Psalmists arise from Takoradi, apostles and prophets, pastors arise from Takoradi. In the name of Jesus, we stand upon the grace of Bishop and his dear wife alongside every servant of god here we decree and declare mighty men arise men of prayer arise devourers arise esters arise samson's arise gideon's arise in the name of jesus christ and in the name of jesus hear me we speak over the spiritual border of Takoradi. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lifted everlasting doors. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, gates of failure, gates of depression, gates of backwardness, gates of sin. In the name of Jesus, the captain of the army of Israel, Right triumphantly into your city and your region. For in the name of Jesus we pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we release the blessing of heaven upon you. You have received us in the name of the Lord. And therefore we declare.
bless you. celebrate the goodness of the Lord what a marvelous night celebrate the goodness of the Lord what an awesome night wow apostle it's awesome please be seated for a moment the, the anointing here is too much what do we tell apostle and pastor Nathaniel Say it better. I say, God bless them in Ghanaian language. Say it one more time. Say it the last one. It means God bless you. God bless you. People of God, tonight as I stand here, my heart is very heavy. It's very heavy. You remember on Wednesday what I told you that based on revelation the Lord gave to me on the 9th of May 1989 there are demonic homes that scatter great destiny in this city that prevent people, churches, businesses from rising up. How many of you remember? Today, the apostle has confirmed it. This morning, I was taking my shower to come to church. I said it this morning, those of you who were here. I wrote it. The Lord said to me, the revival fire has been ignited again in this city. Hold on, hold on. You were here this morning. Those of you who were here this morning, I said it. He says, the revival fire has been ignited again in this city. Find it into flames for uncommon transformation. This morning, I said it. Apostle has confirmed it. And based on that, he said, we should find it into flames by prayer and intercession. And I told you that based on that, 26th of this month Friday 26th of this month we are holding an all night of praise how many of you remember I said it this afternoon at the mouth of two or three witnesses let everything be established the apostle has confirmed it God willing Friday the 26th 
the whole city will meet to pray. The end of this demonic horn has ended. Now we can arise. Churches can arise. Businesses can arise. The youth can arise. Destinies will arise. If you agree with me, shout amen. Why not stretch your hand towards this great servant of God and just say a word of prayer to them? I have always said that if a man like Apostle Paul should request prayer from the church, no one is above prayer. Begin to pray and ask God that the Lord will sustain their ministry. That the oil on their head will never be polluted. The Lord will continue to increase his grace upon their life, upon their calling. God will confirm the word of his servant anywhere they stand to minister. Let there be unction to function. Release. Release grace. Pray for their safety and security. As they travel around the world, pray for their safety and security. Pray for their wives and their children, their ministry. In Jesus' name we pray. Apostle and Pastor Nathaniel, on behalf of of the planning committee and on behalf of the executive council of this church the entire ministers network within second Takrade and western region we want to say a very very big thank you for this honor the words thank you are very familiar but from the bottom of our heart with deep sense of gratitude and appreciation we say a very big thank you thank you pastor nathaniel thank you apostle selman thank you for coming thank you for this great honor and this privilege let's give the lord a big 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 I want to do two things quickly and then we'll release the apostle to go. Amen. I want to beseech the apostle. I want to plead with the apostle that all the church workers who have worked tirelessly because our building is still under construction. We have not finished yet. So we have to work around the clock to make sure that we bring it to an appreciable level for this silver jubilee of the international prophetic gathering there are men and women who have sacrificed their lives sacrificed their time sacrificed their sleep to bring this program to where it is today i think that it will not be good if i don't ask the apostle to release blessing of service upon their life so all the workers please can you make your way out I want to plead with the apostle, all the church workers, all the workers, the ushers, protocol. I want them to release prayer upon you. He that saves shall be saved, and he that waters shall himself be watered. This is a special request I'm asking the apostle to do for us that every time you spend the energy you spend the money you spend the sleepless night the sacrifice you made God will reward you I would like to plead with the apostle to just lift up a word of prayer prophetic prayer over them that every one of us Will have a testimony in addition to all the blessings the apostles have pronounced praise the lord let's pray father in the name of jesus i stand in faith with the bishop and we pray for these precious people oh God. the bible says the lord gave the word but great was the company of them that published it thank you father for their diligence walking day and night giving 
themselves to prayer their finances their energy in the name of Jesus I declare may the Lord bless you for the Bible declares that the worker is worthy of his wages let that which should come to your life by reason of being a faithful worker I stand in agreement with Bishop and we declare that the blessing rests upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible declares that if they obey and serve him they will spend their years in prosperity and their days in pleasure I decree and declare prosperity and pleasure will follow you none of you will fall by the wayside we declare the blessing over your families we declare the blessing over the works of your hands your going out is blessed your coming in is blessed no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and every tongue that rises up against you let it fall in judgment in the name of Jesus the Lord will use you as an example of what it means to serve Jesus I declare the blessing upon you you are blessed forever blessed you remain blessed in Jesus name we pray amen and amen amen thank you thank you thank you so much we appreciate you I appreciate all of you for the wonderful sacrifice I know that you will never be the same whilst they are going I want you to know that tomorrow morning I will be meeting as mommy leaves the international women prayer empowerment network on the altar of prayer from 6 30 to 7 30 and then nine will be back here for another fire in the evening is praise night oh you are not excited about that The praise night start at five. It's going to be very terrific. Very, very terrific. If you agree with me, say amen. The last thing I want to beseech the apostle to do for me before he leaves. I told you from day one that this program is not about money. It's about my heart for this city. That God will bring deliverance to this city regardless of how much I put into it. My joy is that this city we shall experience uncommon transformation. However, there are men of God, the day the head of this meeting, they stood me. We met at the Palms. They were there. They said, Bishop, if you need any help, we are ready. Some of them released their chairs some of them supported us financially i want those people to come out i want the apostle to speak pastors some pastors who willingly support us. please quickly come let apostle speak over your life let apostle release blessing upon you all those who met me at the palms please I want you to know how much you are appreciated. These are men of God and women of God who willingly volunteered and supported me. They supported us. Some of them gave us 300 chairs. Some of us gave us finances. I want you to know how much I appreciate. And I want to plead with the apostle to release apostolic grace for greatness upon you and favor to take over your neighbor. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He that soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly, and he that soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. He says, Every man as he has purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Here is the verse for you. He says, And God is able to make all grace are bound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you are bound in every good work in the name of Jesus again I stand in faith with the bishop and we decree and declare let the blessing of increase rest upon you I prophesy Genesis chapter 17 from verse 6 in the name of Jesus may the Lord make you exceeding fruitful 
I declare that kings will come out of you. Nations will even come out of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you'll be exalted above the nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. He says, thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I decree and declare that the Lord increases you in the north, the south, the east and the west. The Lord will bless your needing trough. The Lord will bless everything that you are involved with. I pray like Paul prayed over the church in Macedonia that my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Therefore, we declare that your needs are provided for and that you only continue to go from glory to glory. You are blessed and you remain blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate. Apostle, thank you so much. Let's celebrate the goodness of the Lord. God willing. God willing. Sunday, we shall have his eminence, my father and your father. This meeting will finally close on Sunday evening. What a powerful prophetic anointing service. By the time you are leaving this place, you will be too dangerous for any demonic power to consider you as an enemy. Somebody say amen. amen. I want to call on our first lady. My dear wife, we've been married for 29 good years. After a delay of 10 good years in childbearing, the Lord bless us with three children. I want to call her to come and do us the honor to appreciate our guest speakers for their love for us. Please, let's make welcome, my dear wife. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together once again for what God has done since yesterday, since Sunday up to today? It's awesome. God is a faithful God. I mean, we are seeing the manifestation of the power of God and we are seeing the scripture, Matthew 5, system being fulfilled in the life of the servants of God. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. We are seeing your good works and we are glorifying our Father which is in heaven, who is and who was and who will be forever. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Let's thank God for the life of Pastor Nathaniel and Apostle Selma. We say, Lord, we thank you for answered prayer. We prayed that the Lord should have mercy and bring them safely. And by the grace of God, they are here. We said, oh Lord, we thank you. Once again, Apostle and Pastor, we salute you all in Jesus' mighty name. We said, God bless you for coming. On behalf of the Bishop of Zion Praise, the Executive Board, the Fathers of this land, the General Overseers, and all those who are here, we want to say, God bless you. Nyami on shroud because we know out of your busy schedules you took two days to come and bless us. In fact, we are so much blessed. I, 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 I'm experiencing the power of the Holy Spirit, and I believe all of us are experiencing it. And I believe that our ministries will change. Our ministries will experience uncommon transformation. We are going to advance the kingdom of God. Ah, from this day up to December, we shall see the hand of the Lord upon our ministries. So we say once again, God bless you. We are here to give you a token. We know that we cannot pay you. Hallelujah. We are here. We are here to give you a token. So first of all, I want to invite Pastor Nathaniel to come. Please, we humble invite you to come. This is, this is what we have for you. And you can see your picture and our small citation. 
and on behalf of Zion Praise and everybody here I want to say God bless you it's just a token bless you please want to take a picture with you Our papa wants to take a picture with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Apostle Soma, please. <laughs> Once again, sir, thank you so much. Zion Praise and Sekini Takwade, the whole Ghana loves you so much. And our prayer is that we'll see you this year. <laughs> you and Pastor Natalia, we love you so much. So we are just giving you this token as you go. Remember, this year. We are pleased. We know as you see this on your table, you remember that Takradi, Western region, wants you again. So, on behalf of the bishop of this house and everybody, we said we love you so much. Please, we want to take picture with you. I think there's there's one more picture that they should take. One more picture. Isn't it awesome? Apostle and Pastor Nathaniel, Sekinita by the Western Region, we love you. That, that, there are, somebody said no. <laughs> somebody said no. He wants to present a special picture. Yes. Please. Can I have it quickly? This one, this one. 
There's a young man here. <laughs> he said he wants to present it. Amen. Amen. So the protocol will keep it and uh, when we close. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Because of time, because of time, we have to release Apostle and Pastor Nathaniel. Amen. I want the ushers, the protocol and the security to clear the way. Please clear the way. Amen. Now please listen to this instruction. Please, nobody is to move. Please don't move. Please, can you listen? I want to lead the Apostle and Pastor Nathaniel, who wants to welcome Pastor Prince of Hinasari. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.